How's it going everybody? I'm Shady Riku and welcome to my video today where I showcase all the different alternate scenes in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. So what is an alternate scene? Well it's a cutscene that changes slightly depending on what actions we take within the game. Say for example we decided to complete the deep jungle world before Wonderland, this would alter the cutscene that plays after we seal the deep jungle's keyhole. Or even certain battles within the game give you different post fight scenes depending on whether you win or lose. Now I'm not talking about small clips like whether we win or lose against the trio on Destiny Islands, I'm talking about full on cinematics like the one playing in the background right now that can only occur once in the game. So unless you've played the game multiple times and done things in a very particular order, there will be scenes you've never seen before. Now I couldn't find a comprehensive video that put all these alternate scenes in one place, so I've decided to compile them all inside this video and explain how to unlock each one in case you'd like to watch it in your own game. I hope you all enjoy, let's begin. Ok so let's go over the general layout of the video. First I will explain how we get to the particular scene, followed by a quick explanation on how to trigger one scene or the other, before playing the alternate cutscene side by side. Now almost all alternate scenes have certain parts that are identical to one another, so where possible I will line the clips up frame by frame so that the parts that are identical play at the exact same time, and I believe this not only makes it easier to follow, but the differences between the clips are much more obvious this way. So on the left inside the red box we will have one scene playing, and on the right side in the blue box another scene will be playing. Above each box will be the scenario that triggers the scene, for example, beat Leon or lose to Leon. And then, like I said, I will line both clips up as best I can and play them side by side. Depending on which path you take, not only will some scenes change, but completely new scenes will play that would be absent if you took a different route. For example, if I complete Monstro after a certain point in the game, there are a couple of cutscenes that I will never be able to see. Now technically these would be considered missable scenes, not alternate scenes, but I'm going to include them here in this video for convenience sake. When a cutscene plays in one scenario and not the other, I will just leave one of the boxes blank. And the last thing I want to clarify is the audio. Now I decided I'm going to let one alternate scene play as normal, typically the longer one, and then mute the other one to avoid a nasty sounding video where both scenes are competing to be heard. I dabbled with playing one scene and then the other, but it's very difficult to notice the differences this way, and it's not very enjoyable to watch nearly identical clips back to back, so this is the best compromise I could come up with. Don't worry, you don't have to guess which scene you're hearing, I will put a sound icon under the clip with audio, and a mute icon under the silent clip. So with that out of the way, let's jump on into it. I hope you all enjoy. So we're going in a rough chronological order throughout the game, and so the first alternate scene that we encounter is during our fight with Leon in Traverse Town. Now unlike most battles in Kingdom Hearts there are a couple, including this one, that will still progress the story even if you lose. In this case a slightly different scene plays whether we beat Leon or lose to Leon. Oh, you're slipping, Leon. I went easy on him. Looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. The same thing happens during the preliminary tournament that occurs on our first visit to the Olympus Coliseum. As the final opponent in this tournament we must fight Cloud, however like Leon we don't have to win, the story will continue with slightly altered scenes depending on the outcome of the round.
After this battle with Cloud, Hades unleashes Cerberus into the arena. If we choose to fight and beat Cerberus and then leave the Olympus Coliseum, a cutscene with Hades triggers. However, because the Olympus Coliseum is completely optional, we can come back and do all of this at any time in the story. In this case, if we come back after defeating Maleficent Dragon, the scene with Hades is shortened to remove the appearance of Maleficent as she will be vanquished in this altered timeline. He's strong, he's kind, he's always there for you, and he's handsome to boot. He's perfect. Perfect. Perfectly infuriating! He makes me crazy! <sighs> Wait a minute, be worried about me. All the pieces are in place. Relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's what you do. Let Hercules train the kid. In the next games, I'll take care of them both. Who invited you to the party? Stay out of this. This is my show. As you wish. Fight to your heart's content. When we first crash land in the deep jungle, we're forced to fight Sabor in the treehouse and this is the final scenario where we don't have to be victorious in battle. We either defeat Sabor for one scene, or let her HP bar drop low enough to initiate an alternate scene. Speaking of the deep jungle, once we seal the deep jungle's keyhole, there's a cutscene where all the Disney villains are having a discussion about the keyholes. The scene ends with us seeing that one of the princesses of heart has been captured. Typically this would be Alice, as most of us complete Wonderland before the deep jungle. However, it's entirely possible to complete the deep jungle before even visiting Wonderland. But because the Wonderland story still needs to happen, it's necessary for the cutscene to exclude Alice as she's still back in Wonderland in this alternate playthrough. So in any scenario where the Deep Jungle's keyhole gets sealed, before Alice's trial has finished, which is after the battle with the card soldiers, Alice will be replaced in this scene with Snow White. What drew the Heartless to that world? The Hunter lured them there. It was his lust for power that was the bait. But it seems the bait was too tasty for his own good. <laughs> yeah, he got chopped instead. Hmm. A weak-hearted fool like him stood no chance against the Heartless. But the boy is a problem. He found one of the keyholes. Fear not. It will take him ages to find the rest. Besides, he remains blissfully unaware of our other plan. Yes, the princesses. They are falling into our hands one by one. Speaking of which... A very short and lesser known alternate scene plays after our battle in Agrabah with the Pot Centipede. During the battle, we can freely move between four different parts of Agrabah that would normally be separate areas, the Plaza, Main Street, Alley and Palace Gates. 
and the post-fight cutscene will change depending on which of these areas the Pot Centipede was defeated in, giving us four alternate scenes in this case. So after Agrabah we must attempt to fly the gummy ship to Atlantica or Halloween Town. Either way we're swallowed by Monstro before we arrive. After a quick cutscene we get access to the save point on Geppetto's boat and at this point we have the option to either continue in Monstro or leave. We can always come back and finish Monstro at any time in the game but if we don't initiate any of the cutscenes before getting captured by Captain Hook later in the story then they will be heavily altered. You can enter and exit Monstro at any time, so you can really have any combination of the following cutscenes I'm going to show you, but to make it easy, I'm going to have a full cinematic of Monstro before getting captured by Captain Hook, and a full cinematic of Monstro after being captured by Captain Hook. Quick note, a lot of people assume the altered scenes trigger during Hollow Bastion, which would make sense considering it's implied that the Riku scene in the alternate scenes isn't actually Riku, which I assume would mean he's already possessed by Ansem. However, he doesn't fully get possessed until later into the Hollow Bastion story, hence why people have this misconception as to when the new Monstro scenes occur. But trust me, I've triple checked, it's right after we get captured by Captain Hook's ship on the way to Neverland. I know it makes no sense, but that's just the way it is. So starting right from the beginning of the Monstro story, we're gonna go scene by scene to show all the changes that can occur. So after entering Chamber 1 and walking forward to chase after Pinocchio, we get this scene. What are you doing? Come on, let's go back. You know, Geppetto's awfully worried about you. Pinocchio, stop fooling around. This is no time for games. But Sora, I thought you liked games. Or are you too cool to play them now that you have the Keyblade? Riku? What are you doing here? Just playing with Pinocchio. You know what I mean. What about Kairi? Did you find her? Maybe. Catch us, and maybe I'll tell you what I know. Oh, come on! Afterwards, we need to make our way to Chamber 4. Why do you still care about that boy? He has all but deserted you for the Keyblade and his new companions, after all. I don't care about him. I was just messing with him a little. Oh, really? Of course you were. Beware the darkness in your heart. The heartless prey upon it. Mind your own business. Riku! What's the matter with you? What are you thinking? Don't you realize what you're doing? I was about to ask you the same thing, Sora. You only seem interested in running around and showing off that Keyblade these days. Do you even want to save Kairi? I do. Ah! Enter the bowels to continue the story. for this? No problem. Let's do it. <laughs> and defeat the Parasite Cage.
jump into the hole to take you back to the mouth. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Please, give me back my son! Sorry, old man. I have some unfinished business with this puppet. He's no puppet. Pinocchio is my little boy. He is unusual. Not many puppets have hearts. I'm not sure, but maybe he can help someone who's lost theirs. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Kyrie? What do you care about her? Equip high jump and make your way to the stomach to initiate another cutscene. Hey, let Pinocchio go, Riku. A puppet that's lost its heart to the heartless. Maybe it holds the key to helping Kyrie. How about it, Sora? Let's join forces to save her. We can do it together. What? You'd rather fight me? Over a puppet that has no heart? Heart or no heart, at least he still has a conscience. Conscience? You might not hear it, but right now it's loud and clear. And it's telling me you're on the wrong side! Then you leave me no choice. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Germany, I'm not gonna make it. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh! I guess I'm okay! And after defeating the Parasite Cage for the second time, Monstro is complete and we're treated to our final scenes. So, Kyrie's like a lifeless puppet now? Precisely. And her heart was... Taken by the heartless, no doubt. Tell me, what can I do? There are seven maidens of the purest heart. We call them the princesses of heart. Gather them together, and a door will open to the heart of all worlds. Within lies untold wisdom. There, you will surely find a way to recover Kyrie's heart. Now, I'll grant you a marvelous gift. The power to control the heartless. Soon, Kyrie. Soon. And our final alternate scene brings us back to the Olympus Coliseum. Throughout the game there are different tournaments known as Cups, which are unlocked in various ways. There are three initial Cups, the Phil Cup, Pegasus Cup and Hercules Cup, which can be completed in any order. After completing all three Cups we get a cutscene where Hercules and Phil talk to the party. Now if we beat Hercules in the Hercules Cup before finishing the other two Cups, there's a text box from Hercules that says, Wow, and I didn't even hold back. 
However, if we complete the Hercules Cup after completing the Phil and Pegasus Cup, the cutscene triggers, since all three cups have been completed, and he'll actually voice this line in the scene instead. Otherwise, a more generic cutscene will play if we complete all three cups, but complete the Phil or Pegasus Cup last instead. Wow! And I didn't even hold back! Now I finally know what you mean about strength of heart. Mine comes from Donald and Goofy. Come again? If we stick together, we're unbeatable. Not even Hercules stands a chance. With these guys beside me, I'm ready for anything. But that's not exactly what... Of course. Your friends give you strength. Isn't that right, Phil? The three of you together make great heroes. And as a team, I'm sure you can overcome anything. And that's all the alternate scenes in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, finally compiled in a nice little video. I want to thank you all so much for watching, I hope you all discovered something new, and if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'm Shady Riku, see you on the next one, take care.